Daniel, thanks for that live report. In East Hampton, a local pond is closed for a chemical treatment to get rid of certain plants that could clog up the city's waterways. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle is getting answers on the situation. Honestly, just, I'm just here fishing, man. I didn't know that. I don't really look at any articles on what they're, when they're treating the water and whatnot. People in East Hampton looking to enjoy a boiling hot July day at Nashawanic Pond were greeted with this sign saying most of the typical pond activities people like to enjoy are postponed due to a chemical treatment to get rid of plants that could be harming the water. The crew from Solitude Lake Management spraying their algaecide along the edges ultimately to get rid of the murky mess that you see now. Seven to ten years ago, perhaps, uh, part of this was dredged. Uh, part on the Williston Pond over on this side was um, also dredged and cleaned out, and um, it's a shame that it's all back. While the pond is being treated, some activities have been prohibited, such as swimming, boating, and fishing. One person who we caught up with who was casting a line tells Western Mass News when he heard the news, he packed up his gear and headed to another fishing hole. I don't know much about what they're, uh, what they're doing for treating, like I told you, but uh, yeah. For the most part, that's what I come out here for, just for fishing, man. That's all. It is a bummer, um, but if it needs to be done, by all means, it needs to be done. We're getting answers on the potential health effects if you come into contact with the treated waters before the chemicals have reached safe levels. On the pond's Facebook page, the algaecide used by Solitude Lake Management won't have any negative effects on animals or any other plant life, meaning it will only impact the algae being targeted. However, for humans, it's a different story. The East Hampton Health Department tells Western Mass News people who come into contact with the chemicals could experience experience burning eyes and skin and throat irritation. The Nashawanic Pond Committee says boating and fishing will be safe to resume on Thursday. However, irrigation, drinking and cooking with the water will have to wait until Saturday the 22nd. There's a lot of people who enjoy this, including my husband and I. When we're stressed out, we come by the pond and it goes away. Reporting in East Hampton, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.